The following video is presented by the Computer History Archives Project, Early NCR Computers. The company we know today as NCR was founded in 1884 by John Henry Patterson. Patterson bought out his fellow investors in the National Manufacturing Company of Dayton, Ohio, that marketed the first mechanical cash register invented by James Ritty in 1879. Patterson called the new company National Cash Register. John Henry Patterson built NCR into a large and modern American company with aggressive marketing and business techniques and a strong product line. By 1888, NCR was a multinational company. It grew and acquired other companies. It marketed the first electric cash register in 1906. By 1911, it had sold one million machines and employed 6,000 people. Patterson is credited with introducing new, aggressive sales methods and business techniques and for emphasizing employee training programs and employee benefits. By 1922, NCR had sold over 2 million units. In 1925, NCR went public, with the largest public offering in U.S. history up to that time. Military Computing Devices Code Breaking During World War II, NCR helped build the American Bomb Code Breaking Machine, which was developed at NCR's lab by Joseph R. Desch. Joseph R. Desch had joined National Cash Register Company in 1938 to form the Innovative Electrical Research Laboratory at the direction of Colonel Edward Deeds, then President of NCR. Construction of the code-breaking machine took place at the United States Naval Computing Machine Laboratory, which was a highly secret design and manufacturing site located in Building 26 of the National Cash Register Company in Dayton, Ohio. It was operated by the U.S. Navy and NCR. Similar code-breaking machines were also under construction in the U.K. at the famous Bletchley Park facility. Today, one of the original U.S. Navy bomb code-breaking machines is on display at the National Cryptologic Museum, located in Annapolis Junction, Maryland. The machine was ultimately very successful. 120 machines were made. Each was 7 feet high, 2 feet wide, and 10 feet long, and weighed 5,000 pounds. In 1953, NCR solidified its entrance into the computer marketplace with its acquisition of Computer Research Corporation, CRC, of Hawthorne, California. CRC had produced the CRC-101 Digital Differential Analyzer in 1951 and, in 1952, produced the CRC-102, a general-purpose computer utilizing magnetic drum memory. NCR marketed several models of the CRC-102. Posttronic. In 1956, the introduction of the Posttronic, an electronic posting machine for banking, was highly successful. Sales of the Posttronic eventually exceeded $100 million before the machine was phased out by the late 1960s. Introduced in 1957, the NCR 304 was the first all-solid-state transistorized business computer available. It was produced in cooperation with General Electric. The first NCR 304 was installed in 1959 for the U.S. Marine Corps at Camp Pendleton, California. During its 30-day test, it produced a 99.3% average uptime greatly exceeding Marine Corps expectations. The 304 accepted data from NCR cash registers and banking terminals via paper tape. The 304 proved very reliable. However, NCR marketing techniques and the cost of production resulted in only 33 Model 304 computers being built. GE produced four units for their own use under the GE 304 name. In 1960, NCR introduced the 390, a mini computer manufactured by Control Data Corporation, CDC. The NCR 390 was a low cost computer system at about $75,000 per installation. In 1962, NCR released the 315 computer, 
It used printed circuit boards and core memory. In 1968, NCR announced its third generation of computers with the introduction of the Century series, which included a variety of business applications and allowed NCR to successfully market to a broad customer base. Here is a brief excerpt from a marketing film showing its Century mainframe line. This, the Century 100, was the origin of the species, so to speak. The Century 100 offered, for the first time in the history of electronic data processing, a complete data processing system, including magnetic files, input-output devices, and advanced memory. A complete computer system, in other words, with a level of performance never before equaled in its price range. Moreover, the Century 100 also provided the medium-scale computer user and the large-scale computer user too an inexpensive satellite system, linkable online to larger systems. The Century 200, considerably faster and more sophisticated as you might expect, offered in addition to the nanosecond speeds of the 100, a multi-programming system at a fraction of the cost of competitive systems. An online real-time system, again at a fraction of the cost of this feature on competing systems, and a 1,500 to 3,000 line per minute printer, one of the fastest on the market. Century 300, NCR's newest and most versatile member of the evolving but ever modular, ever compatible Century series. The Century 300 is, as stated, the promised computer system for the advanced user, the man who can't reduce his demands on EDP technology, whatever his budget. Consider the outstanding features of the Century 300. First, the hardware. Century 300 is an amalgamation of innovative technology in the most advanced systems architecture. Century 300 is composed of four independently functioning units, the memory, processor, I.O. controller, and the operator's communication center. First, the processor, which connects and controls the memory and input-output elements. Here, NCR's monolithic integrated circuitry has been improved and refined, the better to speed up the work of the processor. With led with a multitude of programs running concurrently in a multi-programming environment, there's a definite need to provide more complete and voluminous instructions to take full advantage of the more sophisticated multiprogramming software. Since throughput is the name of the game. In 1991, NCR was acquired by AT&T for $7.4 billion in a hostile takeover. In 1994, NCR was renamed AT&T Global Information Solutions. In 1997, NCR re-emerged as a standalone company. In 1998, NCR sold its computer hardware manufacturing assets to Selectron and ceased to produce general-purpose computers.